What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a shifter rebuild on the NB Miata. This is gonna be the same for the NA as well. I wanna note that the transmission is currently out of the car because we are doing a clutch job on the car, but I wanna go ahead and get the shifter rebuild done on the shifter since that will be removed from the car when you do this job anyways. So it's a pretty simple job. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Let's go ahead and get started. Got our shifter rebuild kit from Mas Miata, of course. This is the full kit with all the bushings as well as a new rubber upper boot. So this is what our shifter looks like currently. Pretty rough as you can see. Rubber upper boot completely torn. Bottom bushing and the bushing that goes right here completely missing. So this should help tremendously. So normally what you need to do is go ahead and remove your old bushings located here and in this little groove right here. We're also gonna get rid of this old rubber bushing and get this metal plate out of here because we have replacement parts for all of these. So yeah, you just want to get some sort of cutting tool and just cut those old pieces of rubber off and then you can slide them up off the shifter. I find it really easy to cut the plastic ring that goes around the one piece of rubber and then that makes it real easy to get it off. But anyways, once you get to this point, you'll have a completely disassembled shifter. It'll look like this. All right, we're gonna drop this first bushing on, plastic side down. Next up is gonna be this rubber plate. I'm gonna use some lubricant to make it a lot easier. Now this is where this is going to differ from the NA to NB. On the NB here, we have no bushing that's gonna go in these grooves here. If you have an NA, you're gonna have a plastic bushing that comes in your kit that you can then slide into this groove here at this point, and then you will be finished with the shifter portion of this install. So at this point now, we're done with our shifter here. We're gonna move over to the transmission. There's just one more little washer and bushing that we gotta change out in the turret hole. All right, here we've got another NB specific thing. If you've got an NB, don't do what I just did. You can see we've got two pins here. If you've got an NA, you're only gonna have one pin. So having these two pins, it makes it pretty hard to get this metal washer and the bushing out. So what we actually need to do is push one of these pins out so we can actually get the bushings in and out and then we're gonna press it back in. So I'm gonna try taking a punch and a hammer and try and slide this pin back a little bit. All right, as you can see, we were able to knock that back a little bit, so it is protruding back out this way some now, and this is, this is gonna give us a lot more room in here and make it easier to get this bushing in. So now we're gonna take our plastic bushing here, line up these grooves with the one pin, and just push it into place here. And now since I have the transmission out of the car and I can reach the back of this pin here, I'm just gonna take a hammer and knock it back in. But with you most likely doing this in your car, 
You might want to get a big pair of pliers and kind of just pry this back in. Probably cover this up with a towel so you don't tear it up. Actually, I think I'm going to try that so I can demonstrate for you. You're going to find the biggest pair of channel lock pliers you can. Cover this up and press it back in there. All right, at this point, you're ready to drop your shifter back in. If you've got an NA, it's only going to go in one way. If you have an NB, you're going to want to look for this white dot here. The white dot faces forward. So we can just take this, line up our grooves, and drop the shifter in. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of grease and lubricate the bottom of the shifter here before we drop it in. White dot forward. Line up the grooves and drop it in then you'll replace these 10 millimeter bolts and just snug them up you don't need to go crazy on this at all and now we should have a nice solid feeling shifter with very little play to that side to side basically nothing this is in first gear. That is a very good, huge improvement from before. I actually can't wait to see what this feels like actually in the car and driving. From this point, obviously with all this in the car, you would then take your new upper rubber insulator, drop this on top. You probably want to lube this up a little bit again to make it easier since this is a tight fit. And then you would bolt this down and replace your center console and you are all done. All right, that is going to do it for today's install. Hope this video could be helpful. Pretty simple to do. A must do on Miatas in my opinion, especially if you're just picking one up used. It probably has a lot of miles on it and your shifter might not be feeling the best. This is a great thing to do. One of the first things that I did on my car for sure. I will leave a link in the description below to the kit that I use. And if you're actually watching this video as it's dropped, this kit is currently on sale at Moss Miata, so you can pick this up at a good deal from now until February 5th, 2021. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one.